you now go to NSPP, they are start saying, God bring customer, brings customer. How does God want to bring customer when you customer cannot even see you? You are not posting, you don't post every day. If you want to become a big brand, you have to sell yourself the way big brand. This thing is not magic, it's not until you go and buy Kayamata for your business to boost. Eh, Kayamata seller say, never sell. I don't understand why you I will slide into your DM probably on Instagram just because you see my picture you see that I'm a sweet looking baby girl you now start calling me dear how are you dear so how may I be of assistance to you dear hi guys Fab Sash here and I'm back again currently I'm in the kitchen and as the topic pops in I thought let me just drop it right away so today I'm um, we're going to be deviating a bit from skincare and I feel when I made my last video as regards um, how I built my business from nothing to something, it got a lot of comments. A lot of people were motivated. Some people said I should do more of business related content. Sorry for the flies behind my back. Please just manage it. So I just thought, okay, probably I'll give it a shot and talk about, talk more about my experience in the skincare industry as a business owner for the past three years and more and i'm just going to share some tips on how you can improve your sales and so on and so forth so today we are going to be talking about the reasons why most of you basically don't make sales on social media okay social media is a big platform it is where some people make it and some people use it okay you can advertise yourself without having to have a working store or where people can visit physically to patronize you okay i for one started my business online right before i had, had a working store at all so um if you're just stopping by to my channel hi i'm fab Stutch. please feel free to go ahead view my previous videos okay trust me i deserve a subscribe button i've noted some things down here so i don't forget anything that I've noticed in vendors, online vendors, basically. In the point one after the other. And if this video is too long, I'll probably split it into part one and part two. And if you like videos like this, just drop a comment and I'll make sure to create another content around this particular improving your business, basically. I'm all about, for the people, anything that helps you improve your business so you don't make sales online. And one of the major factor is too much familiarity with customers now i'm going to explain this some people feel if they are not friends with customer enough clients would not patronize them meanwhile it is the very opposite first of all people who use dear darling sweetheart babes what else all these sweet sweet baby words for your clients what the heck are you guys doing why are you doing that I don't understand why you I will slide into your DM, probably on Instagram, just because you see my picture, you see that I'm a sweet looking baby girl. You now start calling me dear. How are you, dear? So how may I be of assistance to you, dear? That is a total turn off. It is not just unprofessional, it is very, very, very unideal of you to address your client as darling or sweet word. Because I do not know you. So why the heck are you calling me dear? Do you know my age? Do you know if I have two kids or three kids? So why are you calling me dear? That is one of the major reasons why most people lose clients silently. Imagine somebody like me who has given birth to two kids and then I slide into your DM. By the way, I've not given birth to two kids. It's just an example, okay? I look very young, right? I'm, I probably have like two kids. Then I slide into your DM, say, Hello, ma. Good morning. How are you doing? Um, I would like to purchase so 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 i use mom for you all for you to say oh good morning dear and um, okay the price is skinny corn dear how many do you want dear it is a turn off stop using dear darling sweet babes or whatever name you guys use for your clients address your clients as elderly as professional as you can their age is none of your business whether the client is under age below your age is none of your business mom ma madam those things should constantly always be in your words except a client refuses it that's please i'm not that old don't call me ma'am call me by my name lara then you can deviate but as long as the client does not refuse search courtesy demands that you address them 
as official as possible you would never go to a banking industry and see a person no matter what your age is and see a banker or any of their staffs address you as dear come over here dear come and queue here dear so there's a saying that says if you want to become a big brand you need to advertise yourself you need to sell yourself out the way big brands do or probably you want to become Tony Lawani's standard you know Tony Lawani is he's a fashion mogul in the um, fashion industry imagine somebody like that you slide into their dm and she's now using dm for you even as big as they had they would never answer you or reply you with dear or darling they would answer you like madam dear madam ma'am sir that is the best way to attend to clients whatever business you're doing you need to always carry your clients like they are more than what they, you know it flatters them especially people in this part of the world if you address a person as ma'am they will feel like wow such a nice customer care attendant you don't know them and they don't know you so you don't need to start calling them dear or darling please stop if i want to purchase something from you online and the first thing you tell me is babes what's up babes uh, it is 2005 babes hello dear so that is i'm never replying that message i am not going to patronize you and you would not know why because you just fucked up you shot yourself in the leg straight up you need to go and trace your steps right think about what i just said very very well and relate it to some of the customers that you've answered with dear and darling and come give me feedback now the next point is you need to have a fixed price for your product see we know the gist uh, most of you guys you don't put price under your product you put you can put probably post um something something red bottom shoe slide in my dm for price dm for price that statement is irritating to the hear how would you tell a person to slide into your dm for price when there are 25 to 200 other vendors putting their price in the caption with the same shoes you'll be selling um gadgets you will tell them dm for price why are you doing that it is a turn off for clients no one is willing to go through the stress of having to dm you you're saving yourself a lot of stress if you put your price in the caption because people want people that cannot afford it they would not even move close to your dm talk less of stressing you now take for example our own kind of work now the skincare industry before you can actually prescribe a product for a client you would have to take the recommendation that is you have to ask them some questions like what are their skin challenges what's their skin type how long have they had it what are the products they've used before you know all those questions so now imagine you not putting price range of your products on your um on your page and somebody dms you it's only people that have the capacity or capability to afford your product that will send you a dm to start with because your product your prices are point blank it speaks for any everybody and everyone so if you're sending me a dm before i get into conversation with you i want to know i want to believe that you have an idea of how much my product costs so it doesn't make any sense if you want to become a big brand you have to sell yourself the way big brand do you would never see navia fair come and say dm for price a baby white say dm for price you would never see all these big big skincare companies or why why or what was their soap name you will never say, see them tell you to come to their dm to come and ask for price before they can reveal the price to you so please, I know the major reason why most people do this is because they, they want to size up their clients. They want to size you up before they give you price. So they want to check your profile. Oh, she's a baby girl. If I call it 20000 or 15000 she will be able to pay it. Thereby, 16 different clients purchase the same product at different prices. It doesn't make any sense. It is to total nonsense especially people that sell hair would you see all these big big vendors that sell hair tell you to dm for price they will, they will put the inches um the pixie coils wanting wanting inches um they will put the color then they will put the price straight up they will even put the price in dollar for people that want to buy internationally so please upgrade yourself that that is one of the reasons you are probably not making sales because i will not come to your dm i will not stress myself to come to your dm for price have a price list or a catalog where people can easily go and see the prices of your product or website 
put price under your product stop telling people to dm for price it is fraudulent now another thing is make your auto message as short as precise as possible some of you guys if they message you like this your auto message will be like your rising story book no paragraph no comma no full stop nothing nothing people don't want to stress yourself i would rather get a bible app that can read to me than a bible app that i will have to start reading and squinting my eyes to see everything not everybody is a book book person or not everybody is always curious or anxious to read your auto message as a business owner should be short a bit friendly precise and straight to the point you don't need to write story book for people if you don't know how to punctuate give people that can help you punctuate paragraph your if you if what you want to write is so long make sure you paragraph it not that you will say welcome to blueberry skincare we are here to at your service uh, we open at seven o'clock to ten o'clock this is the following product that we offer skincare body wash clothes at the end of the day your stuff is already so long so somebody will now say hi you now be like ah she the person did not see auto message they saw it but they cannot read it it's too long my dear it's too long so you now have to start conversation all the things that you've listed above that the person could not read you now have to start repeating yourself underneath again so try and paragraph punctuate make your welcome message auto message as short precise and as friendly as possible i don't know if you guys understand another thing that i want to talk about why you don't make sense is some of you don't post every day we people that we post every day self we barely make sense not to talk of you that you only post once in a week you now go to um nspd and start saying god bring customer brings customer how does god want to bring customer when you customer cannot even see you you are not posting you don't post every day you need to always constantly be in people's faces let people know what you are doing you now that you are watching me if they have like three or four people that are on your list all those list friends that you have people that you barely barely talk to would they know what you do they probably would not because you barely even post you do not post so you need to be in people's faces being in people's faces makes them have it at the back of their mind that oh so 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 person sells this so 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 thing i don't know if you understand so please try and post we have 24 hours in a day so if you leave two hours or four hours for your business it's not such a bad thing if you invest four hours per day in your business it will go a long way just to post you know go to a um, comment section of big big bloggers sell yourself go to people's dm or people that have um chatted you up send a reminder message to them you can create a broadcast list with people's permission please okay ask people for their permission so that you can constantly remind them that hello i'm here and i sell skincare products hello i'm here and i sell shoes i sell wears people that they are making sales every day they are posting you that you are not making sales you are not posting so please find the ginger find the courage to always post the reason i say this that don't go into business that you do not have love for you do not have passion for if you have passion for a particular business you would not find it difficult to create content around this business okay i know not everybody is courageous enough to stay in front of the camera and talk right but there are a lot of ways you can create co content without having to show your face or talk about what you do you can post the pictures of the things you do you can pay people or bloggers or influencers to help you create content around it tiktok videos you can just pick mix or you know match different videos or pictures of what you do together put a song there are different ways you can create content without having to come out and talk about it but then if you can talk about your business please talk about your business it will take you a long way but proud of what you do you need to stand tall and talk about what you do with your full chest so that people would know no this person knows what she's doing okay this thing is no magic it's not until you go and buy kayamata for your business to boost eh kayamata seller say never sell even kayamata seller means business booster <laughs> oh 
my goodness, I can't laugh. It's really, really a crazy world. You are not putting the work. You will go and cry onto God of NSPPD that I want to sell. I want to sell. People must rush you. People must rush me. Meanwhile, you are not posting so people can rush you. So how exactly do you want God to answer your prayer? So sometimes I don't blame God for being quiet. Because you are not doing the right things that will put that will make God put you in the right people's faces. Eh? It is 50-50. Pray and walk. Walk and pray. It goes hand in hand. You cannot just keep praying and expect God to drop manna from heaven. Okay. Before I finalize everything, is always try to maintain standards. Carry yourself with grace. Okay. One of always remember that an opportunity loss means ten thousand are coming your way. Don't succumb to customers pressure just because you want to make sales stop being the gang of how much last have a fixed price for your product have a fixed price anybody who cannot buy your products at the fixed price let them move to the next vendor uphold your standard because the way you carry yourself is the way your clients will carry you if your product truly truly does work there's nothing that advertises itself more than a product that is effective or whatever product skincare hair care so shoe whatever if you sell something of good quality people will always tell people to tell people to come patronize you that is just the, the best thing good product advertises itself without stress okay so um if you want a part two of this video please kindly give this video a thumbs up share like drop a comment please if you can relate to any of these things that i just said or you've encountered any of these kind of vendors Probably the ones that use dear or darling for you, the vendors that don't post, the vendors that say DM for price. Please drop it in the comment section. I want to know all about it. And um, don't forget, we sell skincare products. Um, we are available on www.fastlash.com. And you can also reach out to any of the lines down below to reach out to us. I'll see you guys in my next video. You already know. Bye for now.